Oh, my name's Chase, by the way. I don't know if, I, I just started this channel. I used a moniker. I was like, it's my gamer tag. I had a channel at one point that was my name for comedy and shit, but it, I really wasn't doing anything. So I just stuck with the gamer tag thing. If anybody cares, that's, <laughs> my name's Chase. It's nice to meet you. Welcome to the 100, 100 subscriber Bonanza Nitro Dance Party 2023. I'm your host for this morning, evening, whenever you're watching this. Production, very high quality. Look at the fireworks in the background. We spared no expenses here at, at Doomschlag headquarters. I got the bow tie on like this. This is my bow tie. This is what I, the one I used when I used to dance. I used to be a, a Chippendale. You know, they called me the grizzly bear. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You guys can leave. What what would my stage name be if I was a if I was an exotic male dancer? And be brutal. Be fucking brutal. And maybe pinky ring. No, no pinky ring. That's not bad. That's not. You want to. You don't want to have pinky ring be your fucking moniker if you're in porn star or exotic dancing. His front is very smooth. There isn't a bulge to be seen. While wow, the other guys are like, you know, they feel like they got a tree knot stuffed in there. What the hell's going on in there? Like an adolescent raccoon in his underwear. That's a big boy. Telling everybody I'm packing heat with some big meat. Every guy just wants to be a rich man with a tennis ball can. Don't let anybody fool you. They're like, no, I'm okay with what I got. Like I am, because it's the one I'm boarding with. But don't get me wrong, every, every fucking guy wants to, you know, unzip their pants and have the woman gasp just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> like, how are we going to get that in there? You're like, I don't know. We're going to have to pray and use a lot of lube. You're perfect just for me. Yeah, the fuck I am. What we can do? I'm trying to figure out. Oh, there was a, there was a video I wanted us, us to watch together. I saw it on Twitter. So, you know, it's going to be diarrhea. It's not not relationship. It's just, uh, god damn. Oh, my man. Breasts. Women like them. They like to snuggle them. They like to motorboat my man titties. All my conquests have said the same thing. I have beautiful breasts. Oh, my God. Look at this fucking thing. Look at that parking job. <laughs> I don't know where this was taken. I didn't bother researching it at all. This is a fucking wild video, though, man. And she just gets up and she fucking walks away. Look at this shit. That gentleman's like, hey, you mind if I, uh, you want a back rub or something? i send you a dick pic? You, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, are you okay? <laughs> what a, look at this. Look at that, look at that air. And she just snuggles it right up against the, look at that. That's almost a perfect parking job, minus all the destruction. And they say women can't park. Look at that shit. She snuggled it right up against the goddamn pump. You can't get you can't get any closer than that. I mean, sure, it's inefficient. There's just debris everywhere, and you destroyed a bunch of shit. You got in there, you survived. I'm glad she's okay. At least she looks like she's okay, or he's okay. I don't know. Is that a girl or a guy? I can't tell. Really, it looks like a girl. God damn, she didn't hit anything else. I mean, look at that. What a fucking tank. That car just took the whole fucking just got smoked. That's fucking crazy to me. That she didn't, she didn't hit any of the like other gas pumps. She's just she's going 100 miles an hour down the freeway. She's like, I want that gas station right now. She's just fucking like, I'm going. Like what the fuck? Was she, she drifted around the corner? How does that even work? I mean, I know how it works, but I mean, you really need to get to the gas station that bad. Well, God damn. It's like I I only shop at this fucking gas station, and I'm not shopping anywhere else. I don't care. I don't care if I'm going 140 miles an hour. I'm coming in, coming in hot. What kind of car is that though? She survived, so whatever that car is. Maybe people should be buying that car. I mean, it's easy to park. <laughs> Look at that fucking thing. I just can't get over that. It's a perfect, you know, what was that? Yeah, it's a 360, man. She just did a 360. And she just comes stumbling out like, ah, oh, that was a hell of a thing. Uh, no, I'm all right. I'm just going to get some chips. What, this? Oh, uh, that shit was already there. I didn't, no, that wasn't me. That is some, that is some driving. That is some professional woman driving. I don't know why Danica Patrick didn't win more races. Well, what the fuck's up with that? Look at that lady. Put her in a NASCAR. I one of those little... Fucking zippy doos, whatever you call it. Zip around the corner. She she's got part of the drifting down. She just hit that giant rock out front and went airborne. I'm just glad she's okay. Holy shit, man! How many how many people are able to walk away from that? I know I would be probably devastated. She comes tumbling out and she's like, "That's ah, fine. Just oh, just stretch out a little bit. Get my fix my bow tie." I'm gonna go in and get some, uh, go in and get some Cracker Jacks and, and a coffee. They even sell Cracker Jacks anymore? What the fuck wrong with me? Yeah, I used to go in down and get them at the A and P. Yeah, they were they were they were a nickel. I just, it, it, that kills me right there when I'm seeing that video and I see exactly what's happening. She's flying. She's going too fast. She needs to go to that gas station and then she fuck or no, maybe it's not even needs to go to the gas station. Maybe I'm looking at this the wrong way. She just loses control and then it happens to run into the gas station and do a perfect parking job right up against the pump after going 20 feet in the air and doing a 360 and then just slam, dome, park, get out, get that lady a stunt driving job. She looks like she could do it. That's probably just dumb luck, though, let's be honest. She ain't gonna be able to do that again. You're gonna get away with that more than once. 
it's like those close calls you have in life, you know, where you, where you kind of look back at it and you're like, I don't, know, I don't know how I fucking survived that shit. Holy Christ. I've had, I've had a close call. There's, I should be dead right now. I should be fucking dead as shit. I used to work, I used to a little personal story. Let's do personal story time. You get to learn, you get to learn a little something about me, you know, a little personal story. Let's do that. Let's do story time. Like back when I was 21, I was working at this uh, factory. I, I'm trying to remember the name of it. I probably shouldn't give the name. I, well, though they're out of business anyway, so it doesn't really fucking matter. But it was this place in this little shithole town called Martin in uh, Michigan. I lived in Michigan my whole life. I've been around, I mean, I've traveled a lot of places, but I mean, not countries necessarily, <laughs> unless you count Canada as a different country. I don't. It's just, America 2.0. Maybe not nowadays. Maybe not nowadays. But back back then it was. I like the South, like Alabama, Mississippi, the what do you call it, the Panhandle of Florida? If there's like that little right out right at the Gulf. Yeah, I like I like the people down there. They're a lot of fun. That's why I plan on moving eventually here soon. But enough about that shit. Oh, you want to hear about my dreams? It's in my diary. Let's 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 open it up. Let's open it up. So it's a special it's a special video. January second. Let's see. David and his rough hands. Oh, I love you and your. Yeah, we don't need to read any more of that, do we? Let's move on to the next one. Yesterday, I dream of the place I once will have. It shall be by the Gulf in the south of the United States. I long for this, and it's what I've always wanted. Make it happen. Signed me. Oh, diary time. David, your rough hands. Oh, I'm just thinking about women. Naked women, to be specific. Naked women with huge throbbing vaginas. <laughs> Those get me hard as a turnbuckle. All right, what were we going to fuck? I don't even remember what the fuck we were going to do. Oh, story time. And I was telling in the middle of a story. Anyway, so I'm working at this factory in, in the shithole Martin of, Mich of Michigan. Anybody, people who live there will tell you it's a fucking shithole. I used to live in a, in, a, in a shithole just south of there. I haven't been back in a while, but, you know, last time I left, it was kind of a shithole. You know, I loved the pe I mean, the people were fine. It's just one of those, it's like middle America, old farming town that doesn't really have anything there. It's got a strip with all the stores on it. That's where everybody goes to shop. Oh, I'm getting a hot message. Hopefully it's a dick pic. No, it's not a dick pic. How am I supposed to jerk off today? I don't get a random dick pic from a stranger. Anyways, I'm working in a factory, right? God, we'll get we'll get through this story. Don't worry. I know I say that a lot. Don't worry. Are you worried? You're not worried. You wouldn't worry. I'm working in this factory, right? And it's just it's a plastics factory. If you ever wanted to know how plastic bags are made, this is the place where it did it. You know, there's these giant machines, and they use these little pellets, and they melt it, and then they they run them in sheets and up and down pulleys, and then roll them up, and they put a big bar through them. Big metal bar and hoist them up on other machines. And then those machines run them through and stamp those little perforations when you rip the bags. I used to run one of those machines, the ones that uh, made the perforations. And then rolls them and then you, they're industrial sized bags. They're like, you know, five feet long. And they weighed, uh, I don't know, 100 pounds, 150 pounds per roll. About 150 pounds per roll, probably. And then you push, stack them up on a, on a skid and then some surly asshole would come and take them away. So anyways, I'm running that fucking machine. And then they have a new job for me. So they're like, here you go. And they plop this giant roll down in front of my machine. I'm like, I've, I've, mind you, I've been there for a month. So I have no idea what's going on. Really? Still? I'm still learning. And uh, I'm like, what the hell do you want me to do with this thing? Like, because they have these little, they have this uh, hoist that goes over top, you know, to assist you in lifting the, the, the plastic rolls to, so you can stamp them. But the chains don't go far enough. It's like a dumbbell. You know what I mean? You got this roll. It's a cylinder. You put the metal bar through and you lock it. And then you pull these chains down and, and they're hooks. And they, they hoist it up. And then you put it on the machine. You know, and then you lace it through and then you run it and you're off to the races. But this one, it was too big. The, the, the roll was too fucking big. And everyone's like, oh no, you can run that on that. And I'm like, ah, I don't think you can. And they're like, no, nah, you can. We'll show you. And then like four or five people come over and they start showing me. And they, they what they do is they wrap the chain around the middle of a roll of plastic. Now, I don't know if everybody, anybody's like a, a physics major, but... We, you know, I'm sure people right now are thinking, yeah, this is going to go very poorly because as soon as you start pulling that, you know, the, <laughs> the cylinder up, the, the roll of plastic, you know, it's, it's got a layer of plastic that you're just holding onto. It's going to start sliding left and right. You're not going to be able to hoist it up unless it's absolutely perfect in the middle and there's no swaying or anything because as soon as it starts swaying, it's going to start moving one way or the other and then the whole thing is going to come crashing down. Well, I said that was going to happen, and everybody told me it was not going to happen. And so I was like, well, you guys can stand right there and do that shit. I'm going to run the hoist, and I'm going to be over here in what I thought was a safe land. So I was like, you guys can get fucked up if you want, but I'm not. So I stand over there, and I start hoisting it up, and what do you know? The fucking roll starts moving to one end. Like, it starts getting really heavy on one side, so all of them run over there, and they're grabbing a hold of the roll. They're like, oh, keep going up. And I'm like, we got to put this down. 
And they're like, keep going. I was like, I'll go up another little bit, but if you guys can't get that shit under control, I'm, I'm calling into this. And put it on, as soon as it went up a little bit, it just slid all the way to that end. And it was, this is a 900 pound roll, by the way. This was a big boy. And then all of a sudden they let go because they couldn't hold it anymore. And it slammed against the ground on one end, but one end was still up. So it was cockeyed like this. One end was still attached to the chain because it slid and then whacked the ground, right? And then that whacking to the ground bounced it. And then the hoist above my fucking head, which was secured to an I-beam, which are usually pretty safe, just and when that vibration brought the whole hoist down. And somebody said, the last thing I remember, well, I didn't, you know, the last thing I remember hearing is look the fuck out. And I just kind of like did this number. I put my head down and backed away because I knew I was right underneath, I thought, trouble. And then whap, the fucking hoist along with the chain and everything just came fucking smashing me right in the head. And it was just blood pouring everywhere. And I was like, holy shit. It just missed my foot, too. When it hit me in the head, just bam, crash into the ground. with a big old big old mark in the cement. And I walk, I back up a little bit, and there's fucking blood pouring out of my head. Everyone's like, holy shit, are you okay? Are you fucking okay? I'm like, how the fuck should I know? Are my brain's hanging out of my fucking head, you retard? I told you it was going to fucking happen. I'm, I'm mad at them. I'm like, what the fuck? I told you this was going to fucking happen, stupid. I just didn't realize the hoist was over my stupid head. It should be over your guys' stupid head. We, we, you know, the ambulance came. The ambulance came and they're like, so how you doing? And I'm like, what does it look like I'm doing? I got a fucking giant gash in my top of my head. I, like, I have no idea what's going on. I'm covered in fucking blood. They're like, yeah, you look all right. You know, you don't have a concussion or anything. I was like, I don't know how I don't. <laughs> I mind you, these, these paramedics were hefty. They were hefty ladies. You know, they did not want to be there. They didn't want to help me out at all. They, they were not, <laughs> they were not into it one bit. And I, I was like, well, okay, where, where do we go from here? Like, what happens next? I've never been clobbered on the head that hard. So what, 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 what do we do? You guys are the professionals. What's up? And like, well, you can drive yourself. And I was like, drive my fucking self. What if I pass out while I'm driving? It's like, I have no idea if I have brain damage right now. What the fucking, I, how the hell should I know? I was like, why don't you just take me in that goddamn vehicle you brought? You know? And they're like, oh, you really want to do that? And I was like, fuck yeah. Yeah, I want to do that. Why wouldn't I? I just got hit in the head, you know? I'm coherent, but at the same time, I was like, I have no idea if there's something serious, more serious going on inside my fucking noggin. I just got hit with like, you know, I don't know, the equivalent of fucking 900 plus pounds to my goddamn head. Probably should be dead right now. I just got lucky, you know, just grazed the top of my head just enough so it didn't embed itself into my brain hole. That's my close call story. You know, they, they took me in. The doctor said I'm a lucky man. And that I have abnormally thick skull. I was like, fuck. I'm one of those guys? Shit. I was like, that explains a lot. I guess I am a little stupid. And he's like, eh, doesn't mean you're dumb. And I was like, eh, doesn't mean I'm smart either. There's my story. There's a little anecdote. There's a, there's a little Doomschlock presents my story. Be careful out there. If something feels off, it's probably, it's probably not good. And you shouldn't go, you shouldn't go through with it. You know what I mean? Don't be stupid like I was. If you have reservations about something, tell them to fuck off. You know, that's the moral of that story. Don't just go along to get along. No, I never, that never ends well. Can't, we gotta stop doing that shit. You gotta have a little bit more confidence in yourself and how you're feeling in the moment. Like, if something feels bad and if it doesn't feel right, question it and back away for a second and look at it. Be like, I don't know, this doesn't look right. I could have said, <laughs> that could have been my end. 21, what a, what a, what a ride. I got lucky. And I'm sure you guys, you guys have your own stories too. You're like, yeah, oh yeah, that's what I, that's really what I was talking about though. That we all have a story, or at least most of us do. I have one story where we're like, wow, I don't know how the fuck I walked away from that shit. I don't know how I'm fucking alive. That video with that lady, that's that's another one of those. That's her moment. That's her moment. You know, she did something fucking stupid, and she almost ended up dead. As long as she's okay, the jokes become flying in. They're like, should women have licenses? She really needed the special deals at that store. Got 100 miles an hour. Thanks again for the 100 subscribers. That's my 100 subscriber thank you story. How about that? We'll just leave it at that. Eventually, you can get to the point where if you guys want to email in, you know, email me your stories or whatever, keep it anonymous, but I'll read them. I might shit on them a little bit, I'll be honest, but I'll read on them. I don't hate you. I do that to myself. I shit on myself every single day. Take a big, I give myself a big hot lunch right on the, right on the mental, mental chest every damn day. But yeah, thanks, thanks again for watching and subscribing. I, I hope we have uh, a lot of fun. I know we will. We're going to have a fine time. That's just, that's live video from me having sex with a woman in my bedroom. Ladies, I'm telling you. Oh, the magic. Oh, who wants it? Every time my pants come off, the angels sing. They're like, oh, we're going to witness absolute artwork right now. That lady's in for a real treat. He's got a bow tie on and everything. He's like, yeah, that's right. And they call me Pinky Ring. Pinky Ring's going to take care of you. You'll barely feel me. Well, now you know my name. That's the chase promise right there. It'll, it'll be, it'll be non-aggressive. You'll barely feel it. And you won't be sore, I promise. Now I got to go to bed.
But thanks for listening. Thanks for subscribing. The 100, 100 of the most handsome and beautiful people on the planet. And uh, here's to many more videos of verbal or cognitive diarrhea. <laughs> All right, have a good day, guys.